Now we'll see how the satellites can revolve around Earth's surface, what is their velocity in their orbit and what is their periodic time. So first of all, consider this figure. We have Earth of mass Me, a body means a satellite of mass M which is revolving in orbit around Earth's surface and distance between center of satellite and Earth is Re plus H. Now we know which force makes this satellite revolve around Earth? That is Earth's gravitational force. So we can say that the centripetal force for the circular motion is provided by Earth's gravitational force to the satellite. So I can write F centripetal is equal to F gravitational. The formula for centripetal force is mv square upon r where r is the radius of the circular orbit. So from this figure we can see what is the radius of the circular orbit. It is this distance and this distance is re plus h. So we have substituted here the value of that radius. Now gravitational force acting between the satellite and earth so it will be g m1 m2 upon distance square. So m1 and m2 are masses of earth and satellite and the distance between them is re plus h. So we substitute all the values and we make v subject of equation as we wish to calculate velocity of the satellite. Now after substitution, after substitution we obtain this relation. So this is the velocity of the satellite. This is actually square of the velocity of the satellite. Now from this equation you can see that this g, m, e and r, e everything is constant. So the only variable in this equation is h. Now you can see here that the velocity and h they are inversely proportional to each other. So if I increase this distance from the surface of earth then what happens? The velocity or the speed of the satellite will decrease. Now suppose if the satellite is at the surface of earth, very near to the surface of earth, then we can take roughly height is equals to zero. And if I substitute height is equals to zero in equation one, then I'll obtain v square is equals to g m e upon r e. So I'll obtain this kind of equation. So this is the square of velocity of the satellite in its orbit. Now suppose if I want to obtain the velocity in terms of acceleration due to gravity, then how can I insert that small g in this equation? So already one re is there. So I'll multiply and divide this equation by re. So then this forms acceleration due to gravity. So instead of this I can substitute small g. So now I have obtained velocity in terms of acceleration due to gravity. Now I want to obtain periodic time. So how can I obtain periodic time? See from the formula of velocity. Velocity is equal to distance divided by time. I can uh, make t subject of equation. So t is equal to distance upon velocity. Now what is the distance covered by the satellite in one orbit? It will be equal to circumference of the orbit and so it will be 2 pi r. r we know here it is re plus h. So we'll substitute it in this equation. Now we know what is velocity. Velocity ka formula already humne obtained kar liya hai. So we are not using this equation where the satellite is very nearby to the surface of earth, we are using this previous equation for certain height from the surface of earth. So we will be using this equation of velocity. So just see here, after substituting the value of v, the equation which we had was v square. It was g m e upon r e plus h that was v square. Here I want v. So what I need to do is mujhe under root mein likhna padega. Okay so instead of under root uh, here we are writing raised to half. So we have substituted the value of v. Now if we solve this you just see here in numerator r e plus h raised to 1 into r e plus h raised to half. So powers will get added. So, if you LCM, how will it 3 divided by 
2. So here in numerator you can see the power of Re plus H. It is 3 divided by 2. In denominator it remain same. Okay. This E I have written by mistake. Yaha par koi E nahi aayega. Thik hai. G ke subscript mein E mene galti se likh diya hai. So now see the formula of periodic time. What we are doing is ye hume half Lab square root vagara nahi jahi. So what we'll do? We'll take square on both the sides of this equation. So t square ho jayega. Yaha par bhi hum sab kuch square karenge. To ye 3 by 2 mein se 2 chala jayega. Half mein se bhi ye 2 cancel ho jayega. And we'll obtain this kind of equation for periodic time. Now just see here. Whole this quantity is constant. So we are left with t square. Is equal to constant ke badle humne yaha par k likh liya. Ye kya hai? Re plus h whole cube. That is radius actually. This is Kepler's third law. Kepler's third law for orbital motion. Kepler gave three laws for the orbital motion. For the motion of um, planetary motions also you can say. Uh, or whatever the revolutionary motion around any body. So Kepler gave three laws. So this equation is Kepler's third law. Kepler's third law was square of periodic time will be proportional to cube of radius. So ye vahi yahan par prove ho raha hai. In this present year you don't have to study Kepler's law. Wo aapke syllabus se nikal gaye hai. So it's okay if you don't mention this. Thik hai? Now suppose. हमने तो periodic time ये obtain कर लिया है for the satellite at a certain height h. But suppose now if the satellite is very close by to earth's surface. तो क्या करेंगे ये periodic time के formula में h के बदले हम क्या substitute कर देंगे? 0 substitute कर देंगे. ठीक है? तो फिर अब यहां देख लेते हैं क्या हो जाता है. और वैसे periodic time को हम क्या बोलते हैं? T O बोलते हैं. कैसे ही satellite का periodic time है ये? जो earth के surface के बहुत ही close है. So, this is why we TO. Likhte hai. So, in this equation, everything remains the same. We just have to neglect this H. So, H we have to do. So, we have to do this equation. Now, see here, it is RE cube. So, I have to do RE square into RE. Karke likh sakti hu. So, what do we have to RE square upon GME. But I know. GME upon RE square. ये तो किसका formula है? Small g का formula है. But यहाँ कैसा है? देखो उल्टा है. यहाँ पर RE square upon GME. ऐसा हो जाएगा. So, मुझे g substitute करना है. तो कहाँ substitute कर पाऊँगी मैं? In denominator. So, इसलिए denominator में हमने small g लिख लिया. RE square तो इसमें use हो गया था. तो एक RE हमारा बच गया था. वो हमने यहाँ पर ऊपर लिख लिया है. So now, the formula for periodic time. यहाँ से square हटा देंगे तो हमें यहाँ square root लेना पड़ेगा. So यहाँ से 2 pi और फिर ये re upon g. ये दोनों कहाँ चले जाएंगे? Square root में चले जाएंगे. <coughs> now if you substitute the value of all these constants, see radius of earth, g है, इन सब की value डालो और simplify करो, तो फिर आपको periodic time की value भी मिल जाएगी. So here you all calculate the answer and see. What is the periodic time of a satellite which is revolving very nearby to the surface of earth?